lithography was very uh, favorite medium say they come and ask it is it in drawing it is very similar to drawing first of all then we have to explain them okay, this is not a drawing this is a this is a work of art but it has a additions hello i am georgina madox critic curator from new delhi and i am at jaj rotia studio and we are today going to be interviewing shashanta gua welcome sir wonderful to have you here uh, i would start off by uh, inviting you to speak about your early days in shanti niketan and how you got involved in print making what is it about print making that has kept you involved for so many years hello good morning uh, thank you georgina well i was in shanti niketan uh, from 1975 to 82 and my education that uh, was for 5 plus 2 5 year 5 years for graduation and 2 years for post graduation so during 5 years 2 uh, years i have done all the discipline painting sculpture uh, print making design and all and from third year i have opted print making third to fifth year i did all different medium of print making disciplines of like uh, etching litho silk screen wood cut and all and last two years that is sixth seventh year mm -hmm. uh, i have done lithography mainly right so uh, lithography was very uh, favorite medium because i found that it is very close to the drawing for etching there are a lot of technical aspects involved mm -hmm. uh, maybe sometime uh, you won't get that result very close to the uh, drawing or uh, object uh, the matrix you have created it might give you some different some accidental result mm. it could be better or sometime it, it could be worse but for lithography it is very uh, easy i mean if you follow all the uh steps, the steps yeah all the steps properly then you will get really good result ultimately yeah yeah so this is the reason i opted uh, lithography and it is very easier now it became very easy for me mm. to uh, draw and get the exact yeah, result yeah. in addition just for our uh, you know listeners i would like to say that litho means stone and graphy means drawing so it is actually like drawing on stone Drawing many, on stone. Yeah, in many ways. Then and then you have to, you know, ink it and tell us a little bit about the process. Yeah. Because I have seen uh, in the in Baroda mm -hmm. when I was uh, uh, studying there, it took a long time. You have to wash the stone many times. So a lot of people complain that my back is hurting. Th that is the one thing about print print making. Yeah, that, in that print happens. making, print making. Uh, it there is are very some demanding physically. Ah, in print making there are some physical uh, labor aspects are uh, there uh, as compared to the painting painting yeah but there are definitely uh, some uh, equal amount of uh, skill labor and all passion everything is mm. required for creating any art object mm. it's not only uh, print making but all different yeah. uh, art forms so first of all for print making those who student they opt they have genuine uh, passion for about print making they love it then they go forward uh, on the medium uh, this uh, if you ask me a comparison about uh, etching and lithography right. etching is uh, also equally uh, technical yeah. but in lithography there are two thing one is uh, stone lithography another is uh, plate lithography plate lithography is basically is very similar to the offset plate mm. um, aluminum plate you can create uh, work on that and uh, you can get the result uh, so plate lithography is less uh, taxing in that sense. taxing yeah but stone lithography you have to grind mm. stone to remove the earlier image first and that you have to use apply the sand or carbon uh, dust and then 
another stone on top of the other one you have to grind, grind it yeah. remove the previous image and after that you have to again gray make it a grain for your own methods and then work then processing then printing all the steps are there Because stone is little heavier, so you need little uh, help yes. to other person. Yes. In printmaking, whole printmaking medium, you need a help. Yes. So it is better if you have assistant. Studio assistant. Studio yeah. assistant, yes. or you have other equipments mm. equally uh, which can help you support you to remove to take stones from one place to another place. Yeah, they are quite heavy. Yeah. They are quite yeah. big and heavy. Yeah. Some some printmakers believe that if they don't grind the stone themselves, yeah. then they they don't feel that involvement that you know that uh, what should I say passion that you had talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So yes, that sir. passion they they feel more when they are doing the whole process. process. I have had this conversation with yes. friends of mine. Yes. I told them I said why don't you let somebody help you? Why you? Uh, yeah. It was yeah, a a friend who was a girl, so she was finding it hard to pick up the stone because her back was hurting. So I said, "Dekho, koi problem nahi hai. You can ask the guy. It is not going to make you less of a person." Yes, exactly. In college, we <laughs> used to help each other. But other she friends. said, "No, I need to be involved fully." Yeah. So, ah, uh, jab tak main pura pura process end to beginning to end nahi karti hu, to mujhe acha nahi lagta. Yeah. So, do you yeah. feel like that? Well, it's all depend upon the uh, involvement and passion about the medium. Hmm. So, uh, I I never took help uh, right from the beginning. Hmm. Uh, i know i have learned the techniques mm. there are uh, of course there are lot of technical part is involved mm. uh, you can grind easily yourself mm. for that you have to prepare the stone according to that mm. so you don't need uh, help from other person so that preparation is very simple you have to bevel the stone right make it stone uh, slanting both the both the stones and then uh, while grinding uh it won't stuck with basically while grinding is stuck with another stone and then because it because uh, air pa- it doesn't pass the air ah. through the stone then it stuck gets stuck so okay. to avoid that you have to prepare the stone hmm. at the beginning before you start grinding you have to prepare the stone hmm. according to that then you can make it yourself easy right right, yeah. right right you don't need any help right but but you can also do the plate lithography ah uh, yeah i did plate lithography you d- you've done yes, that yes i right. did plate lithography okay, okay. So tell us a little bit about your uh, experience with the viewership the shows that you've had the kind of response that you get uh, what is people uh, they have what is their idea of print making 
what do they look for well uh, first of all pre people uh, who do people they don't have they don't uh, have the knowledge knowledge mostly, about yeah. uh, say they come and ask it is it in drawing uh, it is very similar to drawing first of all then we have to explain them okay, this is not a drawing this is a uh, uh, this is a wo work of art but it has a uh, additions hmm. so multiple number of the same image which is created through the uh, through, through the block either stone or a or a plate, plate mm. zinc plate or copper plate so then uh, they ask please explain then mm. we explain the medium and all then they finally get so this kind of education is of course always required, uh, required for the common people they who uh, don't have uh, understanding about the medium uh, right. how you create uh, why you create yeah these two question is very uh, important why you do why, why? multiple right so then we uh, we have to explain that we want our creation to be reach uh, maximum number house uh, maximum number of the people and everybody admire the work of mine so that is one great reason another is uh, of course there are little changes hmm. because uh, drawing from drawing to print making there are there are some changes over there so you have to understand that also the the fact that uh, print making becomes a democratic medium because uh, people can afford it better you know that is yes. something that uh, is has been an argument because there have been also print makers which say that uh, we would like to charge more why are we g getting so less so there is that argument there is that slight uh, dissonance because uh, painters and sculptors do sometimes Yes, I understood. You question. understood my question, yeah? That uh, some of the artists, they create only one piece. In printmaking... Monoprint. Uh, they, no, not monoprint. Of course, monoprint. You can create only one. You can't make similar to another. Yeah. Another is uh, single print. I mean, yeah. variation print. Mm -hmm. Variation. So, there they apply some other colors and mm -hmm. something with other roller or some other uh, texture and everything they create in on the matrix right. and then they take print right. and uh, that is called uh, single print. So each print is unique? Unique print, yes. That, that is exactly what, term yeah. is unique print. Unique print. Right. So some of the artists they create unique print and they claim it that uh, this is the only one. Only one. And that's, that's why the price is uh, higher. It's high. But, uh, general practice uh, that is uh, artist the printmaker they create the edition and the idea is that the the price will be less and it will reach to the maximum right. people yes yes so so that is got a good and, and uh, also uh, yeah both the things are there both people are, there. are people they the painters they uh, uh, paint only one now painters also getting copied from the skilled uh, people, skilled artists to same same kind of work in number of, yeah. so that they can sell it more. Now we have the NFT also. Yes. So that is, that is something which is there. Uh, digital also, digital. NFT, everything is there. And people so. get mixed up sometimes. They say, oh, uh, you have got a print that's great. Where is the original? Exactly. So th this is a, a, a comment which I have heard from the other printmakers as well. Yes. That the, the, there is the, the concept of original is very different, different. in print making. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they even sell the plate. That is, I've yes. seen some print makers some do that. Some master printers, they, they, they sell, they the, sell plate the plate, yeah. but they charge for it. Of course, you have to charge for yeah. it. In, in Western uh, country, there are practice to, uh, to sell the edition. Mm. There are uh, people who buy entire edition and uh, plate also. Plate also. Yeah, they and if you are not, if they are not asking plate, they ask for cancellation print. Yeah. That means you have, uh, uh, you have just uh, damaged the block to show that so that you can't take more number of prints. Prints, yeah, yeah. Uh, same way, some people, they take uh, second edition also and they uh, write the uh, Roman Roman latest letters. number. Ah, that is yeah. second edition. For second edition. 
that also in practice. But damaging the, the plate is like all, it is, must be hurting the printmaker so much. Uh, because you, you, are, you are an artist, you are damaging your own Well, work. When, whenever that uh, somebody asks for it, yeah. the entire edition I am buying. Uh, and I don't want that uh, further number will be printed. So that is commission kind of work. In commission work, um, artists, they charge for print as well as the block. Some they ask, just give it the block. Hmm. Then we ask separate money for the block. For the block, yeah. yeah without damaging and print as well. Yeah. So both because, way it um, is in My practice. argument is that the history is important. Yeah. Like if Rembrandt did cancellation print, hmm. then we are not going to get any more Rembrandt. Uh, yes, exactly. And we, can, we cannot have it uh, to share with the younger generation. That is the reason that it's authentication. Yeah. That only that number of edition is available in the market. You can't get, if somebody is printing, yeah. then it must be false or doing some forgery or some other way. Right. right. But uh, Rembrandt has printed from the same plate uh, only that number of edition and then he declared that after that there, there, are, there are no more edi edition or no more edition in mm -hmm. print. Mm -hmm. Of course, some printmaker, uh, they take some uh, artist proof. Uh, uh, one print uh, uh, every after 10 print, 10 edition of 10, you can keep one artist proof. Artist proof so, yeah. number of edition you have, you can that much of artist proof. And that artist proof, artist can sell. That is also equally original hmm. uh, uh, and uh, artist pooled print or printer pooled print, but uh, you can sell it. Uh, other thi other kind of practice is like uh, studio print mm -hmm. or printed prints. So uh, sometime a uh, printer who is printing for you, he will demand the one print for, for his collection. And later on, we, we have seen that printer also selling the print. Yeah, the the print, yeah. Yes. That, you, that is unavoidable because sometimes you are giving yeah, yeah. the money and you have to yes. sell your artwork. Yes. You you don't you don't want so to all do these it. things are in practice. Yeah. But when artist is selling, and uh, he has declared the number, and he has said that after that there are no blocks, uh, or block is damaged. Right. So that is that means that only this number of prints and is original print, authentic print. Right. Now coming back to that, uh, you know, why, why you became a printmaker, I wanted you to just share with the, with the audience, uh, what is it unique about the uh, process that you like? Uh, what are the things that, you know, make you engage for so many years? Uh, yeah, uh, what, what I what said first that is a passion. Yeah. Only passion is required for uh, but to, more than to that. of the medium. Mm. And that is that apply for all the uh, people for who opt for different, different disciplines. And my case, uh, I opted because I like very much the printmaking. And there are a lot of challenge in it. Yeah, what are so those every challenges? Time, every time you can, while creating the blog or making the matrix, you can uh, add on some new things. Right. And that is very uh, exciting part. Sometime you can get very unusual kind of texture or tones and that you uh, think that it is not possibly in painting or other medium. Mm -hmm. And the second challenge is that after making the block, when you take proof, then you have to be uh, very cautious about that. If you decided that I have to take 10 or 15 edition, to retain identical number of the same imagery right. on 10 or 15 paper, right. uh, that is another challenge. Oh. So that uh, you have to be careful about the matrix won't damage. Every time you have to uh, check it, yeah. that uh, uh, color, tones, everything retain the same on all the 10 or 15 prints. So that is more challenging. These challenges are like, uh, is fascinated me to opt this medium. To opt this medium. And uh, I really enjoy it. Till now I am enjoying printmaking. Right, right. And what has been your experience with uh, Jai Jarotia sir? What has been your relationship uh, with That him? is very interesting. We that can talk about that. Uh, when I was studying in Shantini Ketan, uh, there was an artist camp, printmaker's camp, 
uh, organized by Lalit Kala Academy and Shantini Ketan Kala Bhavan. And my teacher, uh, Professor Shumna Thor, he was the coordinator from that department side. And Lalit Kala uh, organized, funded this, this camp. So uh, Jay sir, along with other seven, eight artists, uh, mainly um, Gogi Sarojpalji and from some people from Rajasthan and uh, from Calcutta, from Chennai, so many people came. Uh, Shail Choelji from Rajasthan, he came. Uh -huh. So they created or they made the block right. and they were enjoying. We all watching, we are senior students, sixth year students. And uh, we, wa we were just watching. We are not knowing about how professional artists they look like and what are the kind of, uh, I mean, their introduction, their, uh, the way of talking, body language, everything.